Hi, I'm Michael Wargo, team pilot with uh, Precision Aerobatic, and today this is another really requested maneuver, uh, which is knife edge flight. Um, it's definitely a gateway maneuver that teaches you um, how to manipulate the plane in a 3D environment. Um, uh, a lot of pilots, when they start, just do not use the rudder at all. And I've seen very experienced pilots not use the rudder at all. But in this case, with 3D flying and aerobatic flying, the rudder is very important. Every roll you make, as you make that first roll, you should be adding some degree of rudder to offset the fact that you do not have wings anymore. Nothing's holding up the plane except the momentum of the aircraft and the fuselage. So by adding a little bit of rudder to cant the nose up a little bit, uh, it can sustain flight at that level without actually being on the wings. So every time you remove the wings, you have to add something else, and that something is rudder, uh, along with, of course, uh, uh, making sure you have enough power. Basically, this is the configuration. The rudder is facing up uh, while it is rolled to the right. And if you roll left, you have to move the rudder the other way to make sure the nose is still facing up. So this fuselage is kind of acting like a wing to a degree. Unfortunately, it is not holding it up the same way as the actual wings. The plane is designed to fly on its knife edge, especially an aerobatic plane like this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how to fly knife edge, how to do it easily, how to bring it down low, and then we're gonna show you some real uh, cool things to do on knife edge and why it's gonna benefit your flying for the rest of your uh, career. Okay, knife edge flying doesn't take as much skill as you might think it does. Because really, if you want to try it for the first time or you're just not used to it, go up at a bit of a, like a 45 degree angle. Then just turn it. I'm not doing anything. I'm just letting it do itself. Look at that, almost 10 seconds. I don't even have to do anything. So as the plane goes up, roll it on its side and then try and add rudder and see what, what happens. And look, son of a gun, it's staying straight. Now, this plane has no coupling, which I cover in other videos. Coupling is where it wants to pull in one direction or another and is not quite trimmed out for knife edge. Uh, but for right now, easy as can be. I'm going to roll to the right, pull the left rudder. You see it making adjustments? As long as I have some throttle on, it will just continue to fly. No panic, no anything. Just take the plane up at an angle, roll it, add some rudder and watch it fly. Many people won't try knife edge because they're a little afraid of it and because they feel a little out of control and they're afraid they're going to make the wrong rudder movement. My contention is that if you just roll the plane over at a nice high altitude you have a, just an eternity to make the proper adjustments or roll out. So if you do this little exercise of rolling it over to knife edge and don't do anything or just, you know, after you roll it, just start going left and right rudder just to see how it feels and what the plane does. Then you won't uh, fear turning on knife edge because you'll see how easy it is to recover. Whenever you roll to knife edge from upright, which is what we're going to focus on today, your thumbs either go together or apart. So if I go left rudder, I go, I mean, left aileron, I go right rudder. And if I go right aileron, which I'll do now, I go left rudder, okay? In other words, if I roll to the right, watch, my thumbs are going apart, both in opposite directions. Now, if I want to roll to the left, I have to move my thumbs in the same direction, see? So the idea is, as long as you put ailerons and rudder in opposite direction, you will never guess wrong when it comes to rolling onto knife edge. Now, even if you make a mistake up high, watch. I'm going to uh, roll it, uh, hold on, I'm going to roll it right and make the wrong rudder input. See, it doesn't matter. You have, uh, you know, do it up high. So watch what the wrong rudder input will do. That's no big deal. It just traveled down a little bit, so I, I corrected it. I have two really good suggestions. The first suggestion is that when you're going to do knife edge, Okay, always do it parallel to the runway. Like this, go up this way. And then when you're done and you wanna come back around, 
We're gonna do just the opposite, but we're flying down the runway. Right aileron, left rudder, and there it is. Flying knife edge is very easy um, once you get the hang of it. So what I would recommend doing is go up, put it on its knife edge, establish that angle, and then just fly around. I mean, just keep flying. Keep holding it on knife edge. Adjust it a little more, a little less, and just see how it feels. This plane behaves so well on knife edge. I, in a lot of ways, it's a little unfair because a lot of you are gonna be flying planes that don't quite behave like this. But the principles are always the same. The next part of learning to fly knife edge is figuring out how to fly it low. Um, and this is a big trick. I, I think it's one of the most helpful tips that I give anybody. And that is, put it on its side, establish the correct rudder direction, and just lower the throttle. And as it's falling, just add the throttle back. And now I can just establish that's how high I want it. I want it lower, a little higher. It's all controlled by the throttle. That takes a little courage and a little bit of experience. But that particular maneuver can look really great because um, ultimately the holy grail for a, a knife edge pass is to fly it low down the runway with that nice high alpha and let the plane come down. And this is where it's at to be able to just fly it this comfortably. And I wouldn't be this comfortable low if it wasn't, you know, really um, controlled. And all that control is mainly coming from the, uh, the power. Um, one of the best ways to illustrate the power control part of it is in a death slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the plane down on knife edge just like this. You see it's pointing at the ground and I'm just going to move the uh, rudder. Now I add some power. And just stop it from hitting the ground with the power because the rudder only establishes the angle. The power establishes your altitude. Are some maneuvers that we can do on knife edge. Um, I'm gonna do a whole slew of them and I'll try and explain them to you the best I can. So far you've seen a, a few of them. All right, one of my favorite maneuvers is to do what would be a, a kind of a knife edge circle. So we put it on knife edge and just push on the elevator a little bit and watch it go around in a circle. Now as you get braver and braver and more confident, you can see me adjusting the, the altitude. We're just adjusting the altitude with the, uh, uh, with a little bit of rudder and adjust the altitude with, uh, with the throttle. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna roll on knife edge right from the start. This obviously you'll need a little experience because you'll need to be confident in the direction, but I'm gonna roll right, hit left rudder, and I'm gonna try and stay relatively low. You go up. Roll, stay on knife edge, and just com complete the lap. This time we're going to fly a, a square on knife edge, which again looks very nice. Turn, quick corner, quick corner, quick corner. Wasn't exactly square, but quick corner out. Here's another maneuver I really kind of like. It is a knife edge wall. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to just hit the knife edge really hard. I'm going to fly fairly fast. And I think that looks really good. Um, this maneuver, for the life of me, I can't remember what it's called right now, but we'll show you this one. Same thing with the twist. Here we go. go up. That involves, you know, pointing the rudder directly at the ground. We'll do it one more time. And go up, and then straight down. And then just very quickly, just level it off. A little dangerous, not for the faint of heart. Here is a knife edge loop. You simply just add rudder to, to start creating a loop the same way you would an elevator. Hold the knife edge and cut the throttle over the top, adding it back right there at the bottom. Fairly simple. This is a maneuver I really loved from another video I did <clears throat> where I just did a low knife edge up and then I did a quick loop with the plane coming around, but you need a special plane to do this. Most of the PA planes will. 
Um, but, you know, a lot of planes won't make a loop that tight with just their rudder. So this has great rudder authority. How about a hand launch knife edge? I included this from an old video because you could see that little rudder slide turn and now look how much the rudder is being used to get up in a hover and now after this hover is over you see us start rolling and look at how extreme the rudder is moving right to left. This is all rudder control. One of the most profound uses for learning to use your rudder and fly knife edge is because every four point turn starts with guess what a knife edge and they stay really pretty if you use rudder on both sides. If I don't use the rudder on both sides, it would look like this. Watch, there, see it's already starting to come down. It's already losing altitude. That's with no rudder. <laughs> However, if as soon as I go onto knife edge, I look at it like a knife edge part, knife edge flight. Now I just hold it as long as I want to, then go inverted. And then hold knife edge on the other side, and then straight. Then everything looks good. All the slow rolling maneuvers, I am perpetually using the rudder. So in this case, it's left rudder, right rudder. Left rudder, right rudder. And this is another big thing to practice. Left rudder, right rudder. Left rudder, right rudder. Now, another nice way to practice that, which I think actually looks pretty nice, is while you're down relatively low, so knife edge. Reverse back, knife edge other side. Reverse back, knife edge this side. Um, these are all maneuvers that just help you start getting used to the concept of utilizing your rudder. There's a lot of really nice maneuvers that I use my rudder for. Um, I, I do a lot of just uh, flying on knife edge like this. So we're, we're going to start a, a, a loop or a nice square loop, then reverse it and we can fly knife edge in the other direction and do, do kind of a figure eight. See, you come out of it, reverse it, fly figure eight the other direction. And all of these maneuvers just rely on one simple thing. When you uh, put the plane to the right, you use left rudder, and when you do it to the left, you use right rudder. It's very simple, fingers together, fingers apart, and that's the way to start it. Um, I was just discussing with someone here the nice way to exit and this is again for more advanced pilots but we're gonna go a nice knife edge down the runway but instead of exiting this maneuver right side up I almost always do this where I exit the maneuver inverted see how much prettier it looks and then you know go vertical whatever you want to do to finish it but when you are on knife edge like this and you go fast and then you exit like this it looks like you're rescuing something where the other kind of I don't know as far as I'm concerned it looks see it looks much more deliberate and controlled so the moral of the story is keep trying to use your rudder and think of every roll that you make with the airplane at least a very short time of flying knife edge because you are knife edge um, even this way if you watch you can even sort of, kind of sort of land it on knife edge watch I'm gonna start up high use throttle to manage it and here I go fly it down to the runway and all you have to do is level it off right 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 at the ground 